Starting today, some teachers in Florida can carry guns inside the classroom. The law was passed in response to the Parkland school shooting last year. 17 students and staff were killed. But critics worry this will make schools less safe. Manuel Bajorquez is in Parkland, Florida. Manuel, how many teachers are armed? Well, good morning. The truth is we may never know that number. That's because those teachers are supposed to remain anonymous for their safety. Now, school districts can opt out of arming teachers, so there will be none here at Broward County Public Schools, but a handful of other smaller school districts are all in. Starting today, students in Bay County schools along the Florida Panhandle may be walking into a classroom where the teacher is carrying a concealed handgun. Bill Husfeld is the superintendent. Everybody wants to know how do we prevent it? How can we stop it? We don't look at it as we want more guns. We look at it as we want more protection. The schools already have an armed resource officer. But the so-called Guardian program, which had allowed some staff and coaches to carry guns on campus after a background check, psychological exam, and more than 140 hours of range training, now extends to teachers. For Husfeld, this is personal. It's also in many ways about an incident that happened in this room. Yeah, uh, it, that's correct. I mean, I was held hostage by a gunman, a crazed gunman. In 2010, a gun-wielding man walked into a school board meeting. Please don't. Please. Eventually firing right at Husfeld and others. He missed and was shot by a security guard before taking his own life. You know, experiencing that myself put a different spin on it and a different understanding about what goes on in those situations. You know, until you're standing in front of someone with a gun pointed at you, you don't realize how helpless you really are. According to the Education Commission of the States, Florida joins eight other states that have laws allowing some teachers to carry guns on campus. Critics include family members whose loved ones died in last year's Parkland shooting themselves, like Tony Montalto and Debbie Hickson. Montalto lost his daughter Gina, and Hickson's husband Chris was the school's athletic director. Teachers should not be burdened, whether they think they want to be or not, with the responsibility of worrying about carrying a firearm. They argue that mental health programs and responsible firearm ownership are better deterrents to mass shootings, and that armed personnel should remain outside the classroom. We do believe in the Guardian program. We do believe in school resource officers, and we do believe in having trained police officers on the campus. We need an armed person on the campus, able and willing to react properly. Some critics also believe the state lacks proper oversight of the program, including making sure that the teacher's training is sufficient. We should point out that the state's largest school districts, including those in Miami and Orlando, have opted out of the program, choosing instead to rely on armed officers. Gail? Manuel, thank you.